everybody, Dr. Nelson here. This is a lesson on how to divide numbers written in scientific notation. All right, so the first page of your notes, I want you to follow along with me, so please listen carefully and, and take notes. And then the second page, there's some problems for you to try on your own. And at the end, you can see how you did. All right, so take a look first at the first problem. We have uh, six times 10 to the fifth divided by two times 10 squared. All right. The way you do this is you take the 6 and the 2, and you say 6 divided by 2 is 3 times, and then 10 to the 5th divided by 10 squared. Remember, the rule is when you're dividing exponents with the same basis, you subtract, right? So 5 take away 2 is 3. So it'll be 3 times 10 to the 3rd power. And there it is. All right? Now, the second problem, we have 7,500,000 divided by 5 times 10 to the 4th. And notice the numerator is not written in scientific notation. So I'm going to transform that to 7.5 times 10 to the, that will be the 6th power, right? Now we can do the same thing that we did up here, where when I do 7.5 divided by 5, that's going to give us 1.5 times, and then 10 to the 6th divided by 10 to the 4th will give us 10 squared. All right, so again, I converted 7,500,000 into scientific notation, then I divided 7.5 by 5, I got 1.5, and then I divided 10 to the 6th by 10 to the 4th, and that's how I got 10 squared. All right, the last one we have 180 billion divided by 9,000. All right. Now, again, same as up here, I'm going to transform this first into scientific notation. So that's going to be a 1.8 times 10 to the, well, let's see, if the decimal's here, we're going to have 3, 6, 9 to the 11th power. And then this one is going to be 9 times 10 to the third power, all right? So now, when I do 1.8 divided by nine, again, you, you can use a calculator to do that if you need to, okay? But that's gonna equal 2 tenths, or 0.2, all right? Times, now 10 to the 11th divided by 10 cubed gives us 10 to the eighth power. Now, this is not written in scientific notation, right? Because this number here, the 0.2, is less than 1. So I'm going to multiply it by 10 to make that a 2. But if I multiply this by 10, I need to subtract 1 from here. So it's going to be 2 times 10 to the 7th power. And there's your solution. All right? All right, so now they have these notes, I want you to try the problems on the next page. Okay, and then when you're done, you can see how you did. Good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you did uh, with these problems. Okay, the first problem you had seven times 10 to the eighth divided by three and a half times 10 squared. All right, well, when I do seven divided by three and a half, that gives us two times, and then 10 to the eighth divided by 10 squared is 10 to the sixth power. And there's the first one. All right, the second one, notice that the denominator is not written in scientific notation. All right, so I'm gonna rewrite this as five times 10 to the, well, if I put the decimal right here, that's gonna be three, six, the seventh power. All right, now seven and a half divided by five gives you one and a half times, and then 10 to the 10th power divided by 10 to the seventh power is 10 to the third power. That's number two. Now the last one, notice this time the numerator is um, not written in scientific notation. So I'm gonna rewrite this as 1.6 times, and that this time it's gonna be, let's see, three, six, nine, the 10th power, 10 to the 10th power, all right? 
Now, 1.6 divided by 8, that gives us 2 tenths times 10 to the 10th divided by 10 to the 7th, uh, third, excuse me, gives us 10 to the 7th power. But notice, again, this is not written in scientific notation yet, right? Because it's only 2 tenths. So in order to make this between 1 and 10, I'm going to multiply this by 10. So because I'm making this part larger, I need to make this part smaller. So our answer is going to be 2 times 10 to the 6th power. And there it is. All right, how'd you do?